going on guys hunter here got off work mowed a few yards today let's say about mowed about four or five i had to go to class this morning so i couldn't get a whole lot done today but um got a, got a decent amount done we cut some pretty rough yards and so uh but anyway right now we're about to go uh down to the mulch pile and get mom some mulch to put in her uh strawberry patch and so uh she'd never done strawberries before um and uh, we've never done it before never really messed with them but we're gonna try it this year see how it does uh we always do a huge huge garden in the backyard i'm looking at it right now i'll show you in a minute but um huge garden and uh, we plant corn tomatoes okra uh peas and a bunch a bunch of other stuff and so uh y'all get to see some of that this year a little bit of that and so but right now i'm about to go get this mulch and uh, i'll show you the bed here in just a second and uh let's get it done all right so this is the planting bed we made i uh, sprayed roundup on all this yesterday and got it all killed off uh, you can see she's got a strawberry right there on that one and uh so i guess that's what she's gonna plant the rest of it and so we'll see how it does but go get the mulch mulch pile here see it's pretty dry well got some wet stuff in the middle there but what this stuff is you can see right here um, on these trees where they turned off the power line there they had a shredder on the back that they were shredding up and they were shooting in the back of the dump truck and so uh, dad just asked them if they could just dump it here and so that's what this stuff is right here and so I'm about to get a load of it here it over there to the planting area and get it done. Also, this little area right here, we just planted it yesterday actually. Mom planted some flowers here called zinnias. Don't really know what they are. Uh, I think we planted some last year and they went pretty good, uh, but hopefully they'll grow. I'll tell you what, we're some planting people during the summertime. probably gonna make fun of me and probably call me an idiot and that's okay I know shouldn't be using a shovel to spray mulch but I'll tell you and tell you my rakes and all my tools are in the shop over at my granddad's house and that's where I keep all my stuff and so I didn't have my rakes and all that and so I had to use a shovel so sometimes you gotta use a little innovation and, and get things done so 
Uh, but anyway, <laughs> got it, got it spread, got it cleaned up, got the pot and soil on there. Uh, took three bags. She bought one big bag and then two small bags, and that was just enough to cover over top of the mulch and everything. So got that done. And now all she's got to do is plant the strawberries in there. So we have a lot, a lot of planting around here that we do uh, for the summer and spring kind of thing. My mom loves plants. Uh, my grandparents love the garden and everything. And so we got a large, large garden out here. And so I'm about to show you that in a minute, but I was just gonna kind of show you around uh, some of the little projects we've done uh, over the past couple of weeks here and everything around, just around the house and everything. And so, uh, so we're big plant people. And so uh, here's some of the things that, that my mom likes to do and everything, so. So this, as you can see, is a sandbox. Place that here. So we got the sandbox here. And all we did was I took one day and dug all the sand out and then filled it with pot and soil. And then we planted these plants in here. And so uh, we, we do have to replant plants every year in this uh, because of that right there. Wants to dig them up. And so uh, maybe you won't dig these up. And so, but... <laughs> Bo, you ain't gonna dig the plants up, are you? Don't dig the plants up, Bo. So, anyway, but that's one project we did. Uh, I think we did it last year, and so we've just been keeping it up and redoing it every year and everything, and looks pretty good. And so, thought that was pretty neat. So this is a bird bath, as you can see. And all we did with this, cleaned it up, and uh, I'm not sure if she pressure washed it or what she did with it, but uh, filled it with topsoil, Plan these in here and we were gonna take this angel out of here and just fill it with topsoil but I told mama so that kind of looks I think it would look good uh, with that centerpiece in the middle and then just plant plants around it and everything and so uh, it does look pretty neat and so we decided to leave it in there and everything but um, it looks pretty good and this is another just easy simple thing that you could do um, if you got an old bird bath or even if you got just something an old concrete piece in your house at around your yard uh, That you're not using you could just fill the topsoil and plant stuff in it And so the only thing we're gonna have to do with this is go up under it and drill into it and put a drain on it for the water uh, That way it just doesn't pull up and hold water, but that's real simple to do Won't be hard, but easy 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 Those are just a couple of the things uh, that we've done over the past couple of years around the house, just to uh, just add a little, you know, landscape here and there, just simple stuff, uh, not complicated, very inexpensive to do. And so uh, if you like stuff like that and everything, uh, let me know in the comment section. I can do some videos and stuff on that and show you some more DIY stuff and uh, just cool stuff like that that'd be really simple for really anybody to do. And so and uh, very inexpensive too. So, uh, but here's the garden. This is a huge, huge garden. And so uh, let me show it to you real quick. All right, so the garden starts right here. And goes all the way down there. So you can see this is probably 150 yards of garden um, at least that we do right here. And it's probably a good 40, 50 foot wide. And so, we, like I said, we plant corn, plant tomatoes, plant uh, peas. Um, I think we even plant green beans and stuff in here too. Uh, plant a lot of stuff, we plant watermelons, cantaloupe, all the good stuff in here. And so, um, yes, this is a lot of work, a whole lot of work. Um, but my grandparents enjoy it, my dad enjoys it. And I kind of enjoy it too. And so it's, it's kind of fun and so, uh i'm glad i'm glad we do it every year it's pretty neat it was soft but uh i just wanted to show you this is a huge huge garden we do and uh so but like i said you'll see some more this summer uh of this garden and everything once we get it planted we hadn't planted it yet it's real real soft and wet right now and so uh we're gonna have to wait till it dries up just a hair uh to do it and uh but you'll see when we plant it and and uh everything but that's the garden and this is our flower bed in the front 
excuse that little mess there but we put rose bushes in here i think it was last year uh just to simplify things uh, rose bushes are really really simple to do um cut them back in the winter and they're good to go that's all you got to do and so and this fountain uh me and dad actually made this fountain uh real simple this is an old well uh pump here and we ran the little plastic tube or rubber tube up through there drilled a hole here put it out there and then put it through here and then threw a little pump on there uh, i think the pump is actually done in the water so i won't show you that but and then we got an extension cord running on the mulch plugged into the wall out there so real simple project i think we got this at lowe's um that's another just simple project diy project that you can do uh that it looks really really good and so uh and pretty in inexpensive too and so this is a nandina and then laura pellin nandina laura pellin nandina and then another one there and so um that's a good combination there if you need a landscape or anything that and what are these plants right here roman, red. roman reds that attract butterflies or butterfly plants basically and so we planted these this year right along the front and uh, this front area right here we kind of uh plant something new here about every year we don't ever have anything that just stays right here in this area and so um and of course we got the ferns and then some pink flowers up there i think that's another rose bush we got there rose bush and then another big rose bush this is the biggest rose bush we got here and so uh but now what's now what's this right here this is a lily and so you can see it's got a huge flower after right here oriental lily. this is a after eight oriental lily and so it's a good price there <laughs> today's video was actually supposed to be just uh putting mulch in the flower bed and, and showing you the strawberry patch and a little bit here a little bit there and then it turned into um showing you little simple projects that you can do which is awesome and that's really good and uh you know i've been wanting to do a video like this and it just kind of happened so um worked out pretty good but real simple projects that you can do um just to improve your house and your lawn and uh i showed you a few today and maybe later on i'll show you some next project i'll film it and show you actually how to do them and uh, and everything and so um and i'll give you prices and show you the budget on it and uh, how inexpensive it actually is to do stuff like that. So, uh, but anyways, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, hope I inspired you to do something like this. Try one of these projects and everything. But anyways, appreciate you watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.